Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Speed here, and today we're playing a little bit of Pugna in the offlane. I have been straight up owning with this hero. I've, I think I've yet to lose a game. Yeah, I've yet to lose a game. I think I'm like 4-0, 3-0 or something like that on this hero. And I've been going this cool item build, kind of inspired by the, um, by the Taiga Snapfire. You know, he was a support, so he didn't really need damage to last it. So you could argue, hey, maybe this offlane, this offlane, uh, Pugna builder, you don't have any lasted damage, is shit. The thing is, how I see it is, I, I basically play around the fact that Pugna has some of the highest attack range in the game. He has 630, which I think might be one of the highest behind, like, Lina and Ricky. Uh, Lina and <laughs> Ricky attack range, baby. Uh, Ricky and, oh my god, I did it again. Uh, Techies, Sniper, no, not Sniper, Techies and Lina. There we go. Finally got it. So you kind of just like run around, you have high movement speed, a high armor, high high range, a low cooldown nuke that costs very little mana on a low cooldown. Oh, I said that already. Well, I, can't, I cannot speak today. You guys get the point, all right? I'm playing Pugna. I'm going to run around. I'm going to hit a lot. I have a ton of regen. I have 4.6 regen right now. I have a Tangos. I have stick. Yeah, I don't hit that hard. So CSing is difficult, but basically for the first two waves, I just spam my Q over and over and over again to shove the wave and make it very hard for them to trade. And that is the gist. Looks like they're actually going for this rune, so I will come over and help with that. By the way, guys, if you want to become absolutely broken, well, what you need to do is sign up to the Game Leap website down below right now. The reason why you should do that is because every single day we post a new video there. Content that you simply just will never get on YouTube, we post every single day to the website. It's really top tier stuff. I'm very proud of what I make over there. We also have other creators, many of my great friends who are top tier Dota players creating guides about different heroes, different roles, different items, skill builds, talent builds, everything you need to know to get to the next rank. So if you feel a little bit lost, you're a little bit stuck, click the link down below. I'll see you guys there. And now let's get into the video. You go. Go, 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 go. Oh shit, they're coming. I didn't think they were going to come fight, but they did. I think I'm honestly just going to end up killing Jakiro now. This guy wants to die to me so he can heal. Hey, I'll take it. <laughs> He's going to go for the Roche and I. Honestly, I want to die. I'm just going to let this guy kill me. I know it sounds weird, but if I don't, I'm just going to be stuck on like zero HP for the, for the beginning of the lane. So I honestly just prefer dying in this case. <laughs> hey, look, I, I get to have a million mangoes now. Actually, I used a lot, but I got my wand recipe. Honestly, this is just not good. I end up missing like the entirety of the first wave. Luna's level two now. I guess she got two kills as well. So I didn't miss the... In Did I miss the entirety of the first wave? Oh, I might have. That's not so good. But either way, not, not really what you want. You don't want to be... These early waves is when Pugna is like really, really strong. So this kind of sucks, but it is what it is. And essentially what I do now is I just hit them, hit them, hit them. Okay, that was a good beam. He used that to prevent me from CSing. So you can see uh, anytime I, like there's a CS coming up or they have to go for a range creep, instead of just like focusing on CSing it, I just nuke and then hit them instead. And it really adds up over time. They have a very annoying lane though. They have a very high like chip damage lane, so it's a tough one, but should be all right. Nyx definitely gets out traded by Jakiro pretty hard, which makes it a little bit harder for me to trade. So that's not great, but it is what it is. My range creep, no. Uh, at least I'll be an XP range. Mm, missed him with that one, not so good. Damn. Yeah, this lane's going probably the worst I've had out of any of the games that I've played. Which sucks for sure. I might be dead, actually. You missed, but I'm fine. You just saw me. Okay, not a great start. Not a great start. That's all right. I definitely prefer playing this hero against melee heroes that can fight back. Like the, the PAs, like I've owned a couple of PAs now because they just have a hard time disengaging. 
Um, I mean, not getting auto to death, but you can see, even see, if I get even a little bit of a gap where the Jakiro can zone me, then I can just own. Jakiro's, and well, they're, they're really just going hard. Holy shit. I got the squadron. Getting trilate, brother. All right, I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna pick up some like defensive laning items. Usually, I just rush arcanes as soon as possible because if you get early arcanes and you have like three points nuke, you just you just spam them out. Like you just kick people out of lane by spamming nuke. But this is this is honestly worst case scenario. I have like no last hits because of the early shit. I'm getting completely zoned out by Jakiro because of the support matchup. That's all right. We'll be able to recover. It's not a good pugna game in general though. They have multiple. They have four, uh, three cash heroes. So. Dude, okay, Nyx isn't laning. That's not good. I'm gonna have to just cast new on Jakiro. Otherwise, he's gonna completely duke me out. If I just run away from this guy, I'm gonna get screwed. So I just have to basically full trade with him. I don't like using my mana like this, but it is what it is in this case. Mm, maybe you can get a side pull off. You can see, if you by casting your, your Q like that, it puts you in a situation where it's very hard, I mean, the enemy in a situation where it's very hard for them to trade. Because now they just have this wave pushing into them, and that's the value of the low cooldown Pugna Nuke that you want to abuse. You can see, like, they're trying to run into me here, and honestly, I'm going maybe a little bit too far, but you can see the gist is is very clear. Like, I kind of let my Nyx get the pull off here, and people can't trade into the double wave, uh, into, the, into the wave. You catch it. Oh my god, Luna almost died. Holy shit. What is this guy doing? I told him to catch it. He uh, did not catch it. Yeah, you can see the region from the mangoes is nice. It's definitely, I, I definitely am pretty confident that this build is solid. You just have to stick to the gist of like constantly nuking out the wave. Oh my god. Holy shit. But you can see that uh, this hero is a very, very good laner. Like, ah, shit. And like, you're so fast that like, if people chase you in the majority of the time, oh, I need to stun Luna. Honestly, I think Luna's just dead. Okay, that didn't kill her. I could have committed harder. I also could have decrept her before one of the blasts, so probably should have killed her there, honestly. Maybe a bit of a mistake. Overall, really solid, though. And even though I had a bad start, we're owning. I do want to go back to base here, so when you have level 3 nuke, you got to hit the range creep once. So hit the range creep once. Oh, shit. Yeah, they got to be careful. I hit level 6. Am I dead? No, I'm good. Okay, let's go base. They panicked. Once Luna committed beam, she's like, shit, I gotta be careful. Because they don't, I don't think he has, uh, no, they used ice path and beam. I was like, I, I knew for a fact that they couldn't turn. They used both of their nukes, so that puts them in this really weird spot where I can turn. So usually after I take the third point in Nether Blast, I just start maxing to crep. You can also leave the uh, Nether Blast to level two. I personally like three points. I don't know, it just feels good to me because that you can hit the range creep once, which feels comfortable. So that's what I like to do. That's the personal route I like to take. And now I'm just gonna go back top and mess with the Luna. This is what uh, your hero does very well. I don't know where she's gonna go, but I'm gonna assume it's like right here. Up down a ward. And now, this is such a grief. She's gonna be able to react fast. Oh my. Oh my God, and it canceled the life drain. <laughs> I just got, oh! <laughs> what the, f oh my God, that's so sad. I wouldn't have killed her by any means, but I would have done like about this amount of HP. And that's the goal. It's not killing people. Like people will get this wrong. I, this guy is no regen, right? I just want to drop him to 300 HP and make him uncomfortable. He can't come back to lane if that's the case. And then I can slowly start to work down his tower. I can side pull. I can amp my own farm. I can just put myself in a good spot. So you can see this lane really turned around. So that's why I like this here. I, I just think it's it's a really good laner. I didn't even have a good start. I had a, a pretty weak support. I prefer laning with like clockwork. Oh, he's even TPing out. Okay. It's fine by me. And now we just start to shove this in. Very easy. Very easy. And you basically always have to rush Aether. Uh, there's no way you play this hero without it. Obviously, I think the occasional clarities are good. You don't really just want to casually nuke towers. If you're going to nuke towers, you basically might as well try to get the creeps as well. 
And I do have to be very uh, afraid of a gank, but they're showing most of the heroes that threaten me right now. Oh, I should be alright. Jira's, Jakira's coming to defend, and I, I don't, like, I don't like overly going aggressive on people, so what I like to do instead here, when people come defend, if I don't feel like I can easily threaten them, because I'm like, you know, some games I'll actually have Aetherlands by now. Like, a lot of games, when I own my lane, which I often do, then I have Aetherlands by now, and I can play around that timing. Is that Jakira coming? Oh, shit, I'm getting dewarded. Okay. See, now I get a large camp. Oh my god, I didn't get it. Alright, whatever. I'm actually gonna max my Q here because I think it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to take this tower with Jakiro just sitting in the lane. So I'm gonna take my Q just so I can get it a bit faster. I also don't expect myself to play as aggressive this game because of the fact that they have a lot of Pugna counters. I also kind of am fearing a gank right now. They are not showing shit. But I really want to get this value Q here. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm committed at this point. If I die and I get the tower last hit, it's more than fine. Oh my god. I did it too early. Shit! No! They're gonna deny now. Fuck! <laughs> that is so sad. Ah, oh, my heart. Oh, they're not denying it. Oh, they are, they are. Man, frick, dude! I didn't click on I should have clicked on it and played it safe. This guy's level 7 needs like, support, I think. That's not good. I don't really want to go bottom, but honestly, I'm going to. I think Nyx needs to sap levels, and Jaro's just farming over there. I really don't like going bottom. I like to play around mid, but once again, this game's not going the best, so it is what it is. Okay, my courier got sniped. That's hype. Life drain goes through invis, so easily kick this guy out. I got a ult deed. God, is he really right there? Oh, he's here. He's here. I know where he is. Oh, no, I don't. What the hell? I'm actually stuck in a shit place now. Am I gonna die? No, okay. Yeah, let's just full heal real quick. This is- honestly, this is not how the- how the- how you want the game to be played out. This is, like, actually the antithesis of how you want the game to be played out. You want to be able to just take your tower and then play this area. Obviously the game did not go that way. You also want to generally be fighting at this point in the game. That's what it is. Sometimes you can't always get what you want. Okay, we really lost our lanes. Holy shit. How did Sand King manage to have a good lane against... How did he have an 11 minute blink against a Gyro Bane? That is an unbelievably unfavorable matchup. That's actually insane. I mean, I guess he's ranked 700, but this guy's rank... I don't know. That's that's crazy. That should not be the case. That lane is unplayable for Sand King. I've played it before. It's really bad. Like, really, really bad. Okay, I'm still gonna go for Staff next. Oh, they are not pausing for their Marcy, huh? I'm gonna TP in here. These are the type of fights you want. They are really not pausing. What is the enemy team doing? What is this play? <laughs> what the f- What the f- <laughs> Marcy's disconnected and they just dive at your one like that. Oh my god. We're back. <laughs> We're back, baby. Uh, all right. All right. It's also a really good, um, really good glimmer game. Yeah, I, I like four stuff against Marcy though, because when she's coming at you, she's going to hold dust as a support. At least at this bracket, she will, so it's not good enough. But against like Sand King and Void Sphere, it's really nice to have the magical resist. Wow, that is the most ridiculous dive I've seen today. I mean, that, that felt that felt aimless, to be honest. But okay, we'll take that, we'll take that. Is Puck going Veil? No. I actually really want to buy Veil this game. I think it's so good, their heroes. Hey, okay, Sand King has Blink, but I think I can out tank it. I'm not gonna kill Puck. I'll just walk away. I really like buying Tranquils as well. It just lets you heal people. Like, I can't really heal people if I don't have it. So, I'll pick up TP. We'll go from here. I'm gonna stack the small camp so I can farm it. I'll let the Puck and the Nyx hunt the Luna. I'm gonna push in bottom. Honestly, by pushing in bottom, it, it will even make the Luna field much safer. Oh, looks like they fucked up. Oh, okay, they got. Nice. Good kill, good kill. 
form a little stack here. A little stacky poo. Get this guy to spawn skeletons, which is nice because we can easily kill them. Team, okay, so these are really good fights. Like these open area fights that you can clean up on are really nice. So let's just come help out with this kill. Actually, there's a courier. That's probably a bigger deal. Couldn't get it. Gee. Yeah, I wasn't needed at all, apparently. So I do spam a lot of clarities on this hero. You you kind of just need it. Otherwise, you, you can't... Like, you have to be just Q spamming to farm. You have no other choice. So, yeah, the clarities are pretty necessary. Now, I don't want to siege a tower alone. People will feel the need to siege because they're like, oh, I'm playing Pugna. I don't want to do that. You scale fine. Like, your mid game's good. You don't need to just own the early game and just go like 80-0 with eight tier ones taken two minutes. You don't have to do that. It's completely unnecessary. So just, yeah, don't feel pressure to do that. You'll do more than fine in the mid game, especially if you hit your timings. Like Nether Ward scales ridiculous. Like Nether Ward against Void Spear, for instance, if he casts all of his spells in a team fight, it will do a grand of damage to him, unironically. He'll just take a thousand damage. And uh, that is pretty good if you ask me. Kind of want to be in that smoke. I'll just siege mid and they can sit behind me. He'll probably go for a kill in like the triangle, but I'm just going to sit mid, push in this wave. They could be waiting for me. I'll be ready with Tumblr's toy if I see the initiation coming to disengage. We'll see. Definitely not pushing onto the high ground. Me pushing out mid once again will make them feel safe, which once again it has here. Okay, looks like I'm dead. They smoked. I mean, I'm not glad I died, but you know, I got smoke ganked. I, I, I thought they were gonna like maybe respond to that, but okay, I tanked the gank for the gyro. It's good for this guy, he's got a Midas. That is the shittiest TP I've ever seen. That is the most rank 700 TP I've seen in my life. They're gonna run it. I feel like he's about to die in the next like 20 seconds. If he doesn't, I think the enemy team sucks. This is insane to me. And is he gonna go farm this camp? This guy is a maniac. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what? The Luna's just casually like farming there? She got like scared by him, it looked. What the shit is happening? Alright, so they're fighting right now. That's kind of a gap to maybe pressure mid. No, never mind. The fuck? You're just dead, bro. Hello? <laughs> Kill him. All right, this game really turned around. It went from I might not have a game to I'm level almost 15 and minute 16, which is wildly over leveled. <laughs> Big thing to note about this hero though, is that I'm like spamming. When I see people, I just cast my nukes as fast as possible. The only reason why I didn't instantly cast on Marcy is because I was just trying to kite out because I thought she was queuing me. turns out she was just shoving the mid wave and didn't have vision of me and then got surprised when I was there and ran away, but it's pretty hard to run away from Pugna. So that didn't really go too well for her. I do want to nuke this one more time for the wave. Oh shit. Help. Fuck. I, w I was ready to turn. Can you guys play this ward? Or wards? Oh, kill this Luna. A bit risky, I guess. Yeah, Alright, Chikiro. You can see, the, the biggest thing to do with Pugna is the camp wards. 100%. If you camp wards, it makes it significantly easier to, to play, just play the game. Not actually committing to that, just doing half his health. He has no regen, so if I do that to this guy, he's just stuck on 700 HP unless he goes back to base, which it, it's valuable. Like, I don't think people understand that. I know I'm not going to die. I knew where they were. I, you know, I just have to not overcommit to it too hard. I just nuke him casually. Don't do anything crazy. And now I'm going to continue to farm in these wards and just play these wards. And if they come with a lot of heroes, I'll back off. If they don't, I will not back off. Lol. I'm gonna keep this neutral item. It's actually so freaking good. It's insane. Coming. That's bold. Another nice thing about Nether Ward in this game is if Sand can cast his spells, 
He can get his blink cancelled. Like, if he tries to epi before blinking, it will get cancelled. Yeah, we can just get the tower. Whoops. Clicked my item accidentally. They actually might set up on me. They're not showing for shit, but Bane's behind me. I have this really good ward. We might set up a defensive nether ward at this point. Especially with Sanking respawning. No, I really have to be careful. Okay, kick them out of Sandstorm. Pretty good. Just play the wards, guys. Play the wards. We can Roche. Coming. Do have Yules? He has Yules. Should just get these towers and then Roche. Okay, I need to ship out a lot more clarity so I don't have enough. Okay. Guys, can you stop doing this? Never mind, you're the best. It's still bad, like, I I'm kind of just being nice because I realized that was- I said that in a very condescending way, which I regretted. So I'm like, uh, how can I be nice? But they're, they're just like, they're taking these very YOLO fights. We have control of 85% of the map. They unironically are not going to farm as long as Puck shoves in bot with his bots. I think they're coming to fight us here. Oh. Uh, this is a bait, I think. It's not, it's not a bait. What the fuck? He's gonna die using his spells. The nether ward, yeah. Next hey, come. How, how, I should have kited out, but I don't know. I don't know even how that went so poorly. <laughs> They're like dying the nether ward. <laughs> uh, I love, I love nether ward. It's like my favorite ability in the game. I swear, it does so much. It does so so much. And none of these items are better than Tumblr's toy. The grow bow is tempting because like amps magic resist, but like what are the odds I'm gonna hit someone before decrepting them? Pretty low. So I'm not gonna play around that. A little bit nervous about this game only because my carry is literally 0 and 5, and he's not going BKB against a 95% magical damage team, which is questionable to say the least. But we'll do what we can. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go BKB after my Octarine. I just like Octarine so much. It just has so much impact. You can even have two nether wards up, which is pretty cool. It's not like why I would, it's not why I buy it. It's more so just for constant decreps, constant life drains. You know, you're just a cooldown reliant hero, so it makes sense, but. I cannot let him die. I think he's fine, but. Coming. Oh my God, he's actually chasing him. Get this. Maybe not. Honestly, I'm gonna put up another war and just slow siege it. With no Sand King and Void Spirit showing mid, my major threats are not available, but they obviously could be running at me. Let's just get out of there. I'm not pushing this next wave. Probably running at us. Oh, maybe not. Good carapace. I'm gonna kite out so it's not as easy for him to stun me. Uh, I guess I didn't have to kite out. His team wasn't very close. Can we fight? Like, this can't be too bad, right? Oh, I should've healed Gyro. Shit. Ugh. <sighs> I 
I should have healed Gyro. We probably could have won that fight if I healed Gyro. Oh, is he gonna kill this guy? I think he is. Okay, that buyback's worth it, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. I also got a lot of Cisco from that. Alright, Pucks level 23, baby. <laughs> my gyro is making this game as hard as humanly possible, but hey, we're gonna win it anyway. That's why, you know, that's why we make the plays. Damn, I wish I I, I wasn't paying enough attention. I, it's one of those things where it's like you have so many options on Pugna. Like you literally have so many options. The main thing you do is you just do damage. Like I wouldn't focus too much on healing, but in that case, when Luna's BKB'd and she's like kind of my only target, I should be paying attention to heals, right? But we almost got our, our Octarine next now, which is nice. Because you can see, I, I think I even got two. Did I get two Nether Wards that fight? No, I didn't. It's not possible. But yeah, overall, still solid. Still solid. Good fight. Luna's getting farmed, but honestly, I think my hero's really good against Luna. It just kites her really hard. Uh, basically, you can decrep her and just force her BKB. Obviously, she can Manta, but you can really, like, force defensive spells. It's quite good. No, oh, no. Luna Illusions. I can kill them, though. I'll try to kill the Luna Illusions. You can just life drain them and kills them. Should probably send them mid, or at least one of them mid. We just not have pauses, or is my team griefing? Okay, my puck die backed. This guy's name is Tryhard. What? <laughs> uh, oh my god. Just. Yeah, I hate to see it. I think we're gonna get throned. They know he has no buyback. Okay, they're too pussy. They should have went thrown. I mean, we definitely could still win. Certainly not giving up hope on this match. This does not seem like a match where you'd have to give up hope right now. Don't think we're out of the race. That's for sure. Yeah, we just gotta keep trying to stall. It's not too easy though against Jakiro and a Meteor Hammer Sanking. <laughs> Look at this double Nether Word. <laughs> Look at. <laughs> Did you see the Jakiro? Oh my god, he just died from full HP to it. <laughs> oh, that's the greatest thing in the world. We have anything? Oh my god, that is unbelievable. That's- it's actually insane. If you manage to hit this timing with two nether wars and they fight into it, which no one's paying attention to, let's be real, right? It actually just one shot at Jakiro. I think I veiled him. I don't know. E either way, it would have probably killed him. Unbelievable. It's so good, dude. It's actually crazy. It <laughs> wow. I, I had a feeling it was gonna kill him, too. I think I said it. I don't remember exactly what I said, but... That's funny. I'm just gonna go Glimmer. It's really good here. I feel like I need to be able to sort of walk up without being instantly caught by Void. Use both of his steps. Can we kill him? Why do they have vision? Is that Puck Shard? Is that why they have vision? Okay, heal up Jara as much as I can. I think it's too important. Nice, really good kills. Well, wow. let's get Roche. I'm gonna shove in. I'm gonna shove in one bot wave before I go Roche. Fuck. All right, let's just go mid. We can honestly go high ground. Let's quickly heal up. Oh my god, we killed Jakiro too. Oh, this is Onage. All right, we're in. 
Maybe I'll go back for BKB now. I was going to go like a cheap item just to try to win the next fight. That's something I do a lot. It's actually a good tip. If you're ever in a game where you think, you know, the game's going to end if you don't win the next fight, then yeah, you can go this room. Nice. I don't know, low on mana, but I'm just gonna use this, as much mana as I can. Still feel like maybe I should just buy the small item. I also could buy Aeon Disc, that's good too. The only problem with Aeon this, this game is Voice Spirit can pop it very easily and then get out which makes BKB generally safer. Blink is honestly good too, but there's just too many ways for them to cancel it. So I think I'll just stick with BKB. I'm not gonna die to physical damage. Luna's just not one of those heroes. And so you don't wanna buy BKB in games where they can physically jump you in the backline, like with Sven, because then you, I mean, you still can, because, you know, sometimes Sven needs to stun you to kill you, but it's very, it's a little risky because if you BKB, you can't decrep yourself. So that's the risk. I think I'm gonna save buyback though. Yeah. Obviously kind of gives away the smoke, but don't really want them to cut mid-wave. Just let me life drain. Need to camp the, camp the hill. Here. Oh man, Luna would be such a good target, but she has Aegis. Where are the supports? Hero. I'm just gonna suck the gyro, hope for the best. Luna has nothing, guys. Come kill Luna. You take those, take those. Looks like you're gonna kill Marcy. No, we're not. I'm coming, fuck. Well played. I mean, we can definitely threaten the throne here. I mean, my hero is really good at this. And Gyros is fine too, so. They're gonna have to buy back. I don't know if they have buybacks, because they're not buying. Okay, they do. Can we kill the Jakiro? Guys, go, go. Kite this guy, kite this guy. Kite him, kite him, kite him. I just hit the throne. Oh yeah, okay. What's my puck doing? All right, hit the throne, Gyro. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck we won? Oh my god, that is unbelievable. That is unbelievable. All right, that's a game of Dota right there. Wrap gift. Let's go, baby. Oh my god, that is unbelievable. Holy wow. I don't even know what to say. That's that's a game of Dota right there. That's a game of Dota right there. All right. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. And that's all. But remember, before you leave, come on, before you tune out, subscribe to the Game Leap website where we are going to help you get to the next rank. If you're stuck, click the link down below and I'm out. Peace.